So I got the um, Girls Last Tour manga, and I feel like it's a really good beginner's manga. However, you might be like, wait, there's no Furigana. And you'd be right, there's no Furigana at all in Girls Last Tour. However, upon saying this, these are super easy, the words in here. Like, if you have a sentence, like, we have tank up on the top, which is made up of the word for senso, like, to fight, tatakao, and car, so fighting car. That makes sense, that's a tank. And then we have, huh, are tanks yummy? Seems like, do you want to try eating it? Then he says, huh. It's kind of like a graveyard for weapons. So you might not know Buki and Weapon, but most likely you do know War. At least I knew War. I guess it depends on like how much anime you watch. So something you could always make if you're afraid of the um, Factors No Furigana in Girls Last Tour is that you could make bookmarks. So this right here are the um, bookmarks I made. I kind of made the kanji a little bit small compared to how much space I have. I could definitely have made these a lot bigger, but I based this off of my um, Natsume Jingsho deck, which had um, the meanings with the words, which you definitely shouldn't do, I feel like, for Girls Last Tour, because these words are super easy. Like, a beginner will know, like, half of these automatically. Like, the only word in here that I didn't know, like, at all, was Tsuchiyaku and Binkan. And part of that is that Kinnen was in Natsume Jingsho, and uh, I didn't know Kan, but Kan is like can. So it's like hard not to like get that one right. But yeah, there's these this is all of the kanji or 99.9% .9 of all the kanji in any given chapter. So like the senso chapter had a lot more and there's a lot of like super easy kanji in here that I just put the reading just in case I like was like tired and went, "What? What is that? Oh, it's Mukashi. Like, you know Mukashi, but sometimes you don't recognize the kanji for things. And yeah, you can easily make a bookmark. And the color thing I was doing was because um they have the same page number to make it easy to locate stuff. So like, oh yeah, page 46. These are here are all page 46. That's how I um, organize the cards. But yeah, a bookmark, I feel like, is the way to do it. And it makes it that um, you're really reading the manga for the kanji and not for the reading. And you're only double checking the reading if you don't know it. As if you're going to be reading Girls Last Tour, you should just learn the vocabulary before you um, try reading it. But like, it's pretty simple. Like, most pages are like, they, they still do the run-on sentence thing, but there's only one moment that it actually like affected anything, which was this, this page had the only complicated run-on sentence. So, uh, Chi, I think that's her name. I'm bad with names. She's writing in her diary. So she writes that, and right here, she um, says, for the sake of being warm, useful. And I was like, what? Gonna nai. And I like I went over here, I was like, uh but it's on the second page she continues her sentence of saying the useful organic matter scrap wood was here. We're very lucky. So she's saying we're lucky that we had this scrap organic scrap wood, you know, that could be burnt, was like already inside this building so we could be warm because it's snowy and it's cold and it totally makes sense but it's confusing to have it on one page and then the next page that is right there was the only time i was actually confused reading this book every other time it's like really easy to um tell what they're talking about but in general you it's yeah <laughs> Just joking. The manga is separated into eight chapters, which I feel like is more than most manga. I mean, I could be wrong, but it's not that the book is more. I feel like the book is a normal size, but the chapters are shorter. It's kind of funny, though, because the last three chapters, Encounter, City, and Street Lights, um, are like one arc, if that makes any sense. While the other five before are kind of like one shots. Like you can tell where they are and they're walking between different things. But like the, the book agrees with me on this aspect as um, here's the end of chapter one. Like we get a little like end thingy. However, for the last three chapters, um, sorry, it, it, right there. there, there's no gap between one and another. See, we're like, oh, there's chapter 7, and now we're at chapter 8.
Something really nice about Girls List Tour is the page numbers. Like this is so nice, especially if you want to make a um, bookmark for it because you can quickly find words. Now, of course, they do have pages without page numbers, but almost every page has a page number. Like 90% of the pages have page numbers. This is very different from um, That's the Amazing Show, which I read. That's the Amazing Show does not really have page numbers. Like once like a chapter will have like a page number. And it was, as you saw from the little expert I showed you, um, the grammar in this is pretty easy. And the vocabulary is also pretty easy because there's only a hundred words per chapter basically, like in total, like if you took and counted all the words and you separated doubles, you know, there'd be like 90 words every chapter. And I know that from Wine and Kenny Book Club because they um, literally recorded every word in every chapter and they had about 90 words in every chapter, like some were 80 and stuff. And a lot of these words are easy, so you can easily just chop off these words. Like if you look here at this, I would say a beginner could probably read half these words. They should be able to read city, laundry, diary, bath, and they should be able to guess um, starry night sky, which is hoshi zora, because soda becomes zora. Um, senso is like 50-50, depends if they watch lots of anime. Um, so the ones they wouldn't know is number six, which is encounters, and number eight, which is lights. Um, not like light, like having light, but like street lights. Yeah. So, and that's what a lot of the vocabulary in this is like. A lot of it's super, yes, you know this vocabulary, with a couple of random, oh, what is that? Um, in general, the characters don't talk that weird. Like, yes, she talks like she's stupid, but that's her character type. She doesn't like have like a catchphrase. Like some characters in anime will have a catchphrase which can be distracting and doesn't really do anything. So in summary, I feel like Girls Last Tour is the best beginner manga. And if you don't believe me, study the first chapter vocabulary with like my Anki deck or even better, create your own based off of the Wanikani vocab list so you can um, specifically grab the vocab words you don't know. And after you study those words for chapter one, you can read chapter one for free on Bookwalker. Um, you just click the Tamashi reading and it will go over and open up the first chapter of um, Girls Last Tour. And it has the complete first chapter, which is also part of the reason why I'm pretty sure the chapters in Girls Last Tour are shorter than other manga. Because I feel like normally when you do a trial reading, it kind of ends before the full before you hit the end of chapter one, like it's a couple pages in. Um, so you definitely get the idea, but I don't feel like normally it's the complete chapter one, but I don't read a lot of trial reading, so I could definitely be wrong about that. Um, it looks like it's on sale right now if you want to get it on Bookwalker, but for me personally, I do like having physical copies. Girls Last Tour, read it.